Today we're going to have a seemingly boring but very informative conversation about thread. Thread is the single most important thing that you will use aside from your fabric and your needle. Um, a lot of, there are a lot of misconceptions about thread itself and we're about to dismiss some of those misconceptions. So um, the first thing um, that is a misconception about thread is that the thread weight has to do with how thick or thin the thread actually is. Um, that's actually not true. Thread is measured by how many kilometers it takes to weigh one ki for it to weigh one kilogram. The other misconception about thread is that the higher the number weight, the heavier the thread. That's actually wrong. Actually, it's the opposite. A uh, 40 weight thread is your normal weight of thread. Um, while 60 weight thread is a lighter weight thread. And that is what we use when we're working with lightweight materials or really, really fine fonts where we need a really, really fine thread to use. Now, there are multiple types of thread for embroidery. Uh, most people either use cotton, rayon, or polyester. Cotton thread has absolutely no luster to it whatsoever, and it gives items a more vintage look. Rayon uh, was developed as a replacement for silk in the late 1880s. It has a very shiny nature to it. Let's see if I can find one that is rayon. This one is rayon. Um, it has a very shiny nature to it. Now, polyester is a little bit different from rayon. And when I first started in embroidery, I had no idea um, the differences between the two. Uh, polyester is a bit stronger than rayon and it has a bit of stretch to it. So this is polyester. Uh, back in the day, uh, polyester always was uh, less shiny than rayon. Now, however, uh, you often cannot tell the difference between the two. This one's poly and this one's rayon. You can barely even tell any type of difference there. But uh, if you're working with a brand like Madeira, you can tell a visible difference. These two are the same color threads. They, one of them is just uh, polyester and the other one is rayon. This polyester one has a little bit less luster and less shine than its rayon counterpart. I don't know if you can see that there on camera, but it really is a big difference. Well, not a huge difference, but a difference nonetheless. One other thing that I want to mention about thread is that it comes in many different brands. And if you are color matching for a uh, logo for a company, they are going to want a specific uh, thread color. And those thread colors are determined by number. I just want to interject a little bit here. So when you are a graphic designer and you design a logo for a brand, that color that you pick 99% of the time is going to be a CMYK color, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And that color is going to be printed out on an inkjet printer. The inkjet printer will mix the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black to create your color. The problem with that is that different printers mix colors differently. So the color is going to come out slightly different on each printer that you use. You can't have that when you're a big company like Coca-Cola, for example. So there is an entirely different color matching system called the Pantone color matching system. And Pantone colors are already pre-mixed. And then you would put that in your professional printer and print out all of your media so that all of the, co all of the media comes out the exact same color every single time. Um, in order to match your thread to the Pantone color, there are these books available that allow you to flip through, find your Pantone color, and then it has listed the exact thread color that will match with that particular Pantone. 
There are uncoded and coded Pantone books. 99% of the time, you're going to be using a coded Pantone book. And that just means that the, the Pantone has a gloss finish on top of it. And when there's a gloss finish on top, you know that the color is slightly brighter than um, when you are using uncoated. And the coated matches more closely to thread because thread usually has a bit of shine to it. So I just thought that I would give you that piece of information because it may be helpful. So uh, for example, I have this um, thread here. Well, let me get grab the other one. Well, these threads right here are the exact same color, but there's a difference here because you can tell that this one is lighter. And the reason why this one is lighter is because it is polyester. And while, well, it's from a different brand and it's also polyester. This is too polyester, but it is from Brother. And there's a slight difference there, if you can tell. And you can really tell that when the item is printed out. So you really have to be careful with this. Um, when you're going from Brother to Madeira, what I noticed is that uh, when I use rayon. So these three are all the same color. This one's from Brother. These two are from Madeira. So... This seems more like a closer match to the color uh, from Brother than this one. But this one is made from polyester, whereas this one right here is a rayon. So you really do have to be careful about that. I know that there are color charts out there that um, measure or give you an equivalent. Like for example, uh, I have this brother thread, it's number 513. And when I went uh, to purchase new thread from Madeira, um, I found their chart and the chart says that the brother 513 is equivalent to 1049 or 1848. So I bought both of them so that I could see which one would match better. And it's almost always the case that the rayon matches the best with the brother and the reason why i have brother is because i used to buy all of these cases of brother threads from amazon uh just as like samples to see what colors i like the best um, and then once i found the colors that i frequently used and liked then i reordered them from madeira so that's why this is the case here let's recap Thread weight, the higher the number, the finer the project. We use Pantone matching system to match logos to their exact color thread. Colors aren't necessarily consistent between different brands of threads, so you must use a color chart to find the equivalent color. And you also must realize that there are differences between rayon and polyester thread in the shading of the colors that it comes out as. So you have to be really, really careful when you're selecting a polyester versus a rayon thread. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Lots of awesome content is coming. Also, check out some of the other videos on my channel. I have this great video where I talk about how to organize all of your threads. So go and check it out. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to receive more sewing related content.